Hey everybody, hey boo, hey. This is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, I'm Mocha. Hi, also, this is your first time viewing my channel. Look out, I make us a little, make us a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say. Okay, hold on, let me. I feel a little funny doing this. This is my first pick a card, okay? But I have been um, in my spare time as well as me being sick, <laughs> working on, you know, pick a card energies as really connecting with spirit because I've noticed the synchronicities with all of the signs. Spirit is really talking during this time, and some people are receptive, you know, and a lot of a lot of you all are intuitives, and it's like, even though you're intuitive, it's like when you try to run the cards for yourself, it's like you're not connecting because you're connecting with that emotion, okay? So what's going, um, what, what this is, is a pick a card, all right? I'm doing a pick a card reading, one, two, and three, okay? So for those of you who are intuitive, I want you to take time right now to really reflect on each stack okay and really see which one connects with you you can pick more than one but i would recommend you to pick one but you can pick more than one to see if this is your story if spirit is really trying to speak to you if the message was for you okay um i will continue this just depends on uh the feedback that i get from it the outcome that i get from it okay because i'm really trying new things and trying to expand um uh, my channel as well as expand um the understanding as well as allow people to trust their intuition and to know when something is just for them okay so for my new intuitive this is more so for you for people who've been who've been in tune with their intuition you can also um take part in my pick card okay um if you need a personal reading y'all that information can be found below okay please feel free to reach out to me this has no particular time frame okay we're just going to say to the end of october okay but what is spirit trying to communicate with me all right so we rock it i'm gonna let you go ahead and kind of reflect on the deck see which one is for you this is deck one this being deck two this being deck three so you go ahead and i asked for someone pretty pretty please time stamp the decks okay time stick time stamp the opening of decks okay so for those of you who pick deck one, we're getting ready to rock, all right? So what is spirit trying to communicate with me? First card comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle card by the ring, Oracle deck by the ring virtue. There's Topaz. Shit, I hate when this does this like this. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it is blocking you your health and happiness okay so i feel like deck one you're needing to forgive spirit is really calling upon you to forgive someone or something okay i wasn't going to read the book it was telling me to read the book and i don't play with those angel messages I, those are the only thing that i see as far as cards that are as is so pass this is a beautiful sign from your guardian angels who love you so much and want to help you reach the next positive level in your health and happiness they can see that you are being blocked and held back by repressed anger and resentment. Most likely you already know what needs to be released, but perhaps you've had difficulty letting it go. Forgiveness isn't condoning, accepting, or excusing someone's behavior. It means an unwillingness to harm yourself anymore. You don't have to like the other person or hang out with them. You simply need to agree to release their energy from your psyche. This card could refer to forgiving yourself for actions that you regret. Self-blame is as toxic as blaming others. The only thing valuable about reflecting on the past is learning from it, not holding on to shame or guilt. Your guardian angels remind you that you, I'm sorry, that you, remind you that harboring anger hurts only you, not the other person. Repressed resentment is toxic to your physical, emotional, and financial health. All it takes is a little willingness to forgive, and God, Jesus, and the angels will do the rest of the work. Okay? So please let it go. Forgive. If I did not mention this is for all signs, it does not matter your sign. This is an intuitive read. So you just pick your deck. Okay. Yeah. Some of you all, your shadow side during this time is going to be coming to the surface. Okay. Some of you all are needing to needing to actually live out your soul contracts, your soul purposes, your soul contract time. As it, so be it. As it um pretty much. As in heaven or in heaven as it is on earth type deal. 
Okay, so I feel like a lot of you guys are coming into the completion of soul contracts and it's allowing you to move from that deep, dark period. I feel like a lot of you guys have been putting in work for my new intuitive. Some of you all have been learning, um, kind of learning about chakras, learning about intuition, okay? Some of you guys are learning how to take turn your pain into power, but it's just that some of you all may feel like as if you've let something go, but deep down, there is something rooted there, okay? And you're needing to come to terms with that. Spirit is literally kind of putting you in a place of, not. I'm not going to say stagnancy, but putting you in a place of reflection, okay? For some of you all, you want a family dynamic, okay? You feel that, you feel that um, some of you all may feel like you can't have that family dynamic that you want because of some type of like financial instability, okay? But you're needing to really heal that conflict within the self internally, okay? Because I feel like love, true love is up on you. It is here. It is here and ready to flourish. However, you're kind of living in a place of lack and indecision. So it's kind of hard for you to move forward. As well, some of you guys aren't communicating, you know, those feelings with your lover and your spouse because you may feel judged or you may feel like I may sound silly talking about, well, I can't move forward because I'm scared of what my ex did. But no, it's time for you to purge that emotion, especially if you have somebody understanding and committed to you, which I see some of you all who this deck one is for. You all have someone in your corner who's willing to love you. Yeah, you're needing to end one cycle of holding on to hurt and depression and lack, okay, and going into another one. You're ending cycles in order for you to embrace a new one. So you're needing to put that work into yourself and work on yourself, okay, in order to bring that happiness back to yourself so that you can express that. Whoever you're dealing with, for some of you guys are dealing with very, 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 very patient people. Those of you who picked that one, I do see you could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be a Taurus or a Libra. What's up, Taurus or a Libra? Taurus or a Leo. You could also be um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but strong emphasis on Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like you guys want to put in this work. You're needing to learn. Go back to the roots. You're needing to go internally. Okay, go grab that inner child by the hand and tell them it's okay. Go back to that battered relationship. And love yourself through walking away instead of looking at it from a resentful place. You have to forgive in order to move forward. Okay? All right, my babies. That's what I have for deck one. Stack one. Well, stack one. So, y'all, organization matters to me. <laughs> For those of you who chose deck two, let's try. Rose Quartz, love life. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. Y'all, this Venus retrograde energy is inevitable. Love is up on us, and we're having to let some shit go in order to truly embrace it because it's the highest vibration of all. Rose Quartz. Rose Quartz. Bam. Your heart is ready for great love, and this card validates that your romantic prayers have been heard and are being answered. Rose Quartz is associated with innocent, youthful, and playful romantic love. So if you are currently in a relationship, you may want to have a play date with your partner. If you are single and looking, Rose Quartz is a sign of courtship, precious flirtation, and the bliss of new love on the horizon for you. This is also a sign of falling back in love with your life and valuing life itself. Focusing upon your blessings and what you're grateful for allows you to regain the love of life. Prayers can help you to appreciate this amazing gift that God has given you. Okay, so I feel like a lot of y'all, again, love is inevitable. It's upon us. So if you're afraid of love or you're afraid of commitment, you're needing to be real with yourself and come to terms with that. And ask God and your angels to assist you in being more receptive to love. Some of you all is having to do with either a father figure, okay, or your father. You're needing to heal a relationship in order for you to truly allow that heart chakra, baby, to, to open up and expand and bliss. Some of y'all are being reflective during this time. You're needing to be reflective. And see how those past traumas are, are are affecting you or your fear 
towards commitment or your fear towards loving another person or becoming vulnerable. But some of you, it has to do with father issues, okay? Yeah, and so it's having you internally conflicted upon receiving love. Or you may be very argumentative or impatient when it comes to love because you don't really know how to love properly. You are really coming to terms that that hasn't been something that you have really experienced in your life, you know, to really know how to appreciate that or receive it. OK, but it is up on you. Some of you all. Some of you all, you're kind of mentally conflicted. You just swept the idea. Some of you all could have left a relationship where you had a firm commitment with someone. You could have left marriages and things of that nature. And you've been afraid to just really kind of fully date and put yourself out there because you're not really being optimistic. Some of you all have <laughs> two options, okay? And it's after moving away from someone, okay? But I feel like for the, some of you all, you're not really communicating that you're holding on to those fears internally. However, you're opening up passionately to people. But when it comes to them wanting to stay, and right now, I feel like you're very passionate about someone. You want to hold on to this person, but you're needing to face that conflict, face that fear, look that doubt in the face and tell that motherfucking shit, you're, you're not real. Your ass don't really, you don't belong in my life. Happiness, truly living, truly, 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 truly embracing the zest of life, of love itself. Is what I deserve. So fear you're not real. I will take that cup of love. But I'm dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, and Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sag right now. But some of you all, it's really kind of coming together possibly. Some of you all have an option to come together possibly with the father of your children. Or offer some type of re reconciliation or apology to your father in order for you to move forward. But you're, con you're, 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 you're emotionally conflicted about it. Even though this Ace of Cups, love is a part of you. The energy of love is inevitable. Our own biggest fight, the biggest fight that we have in this life is a fight against ourselves. So you need to go within and heal those internal wounds that creates this fear of commitment for you. And if it has to do with traditional structure and how you've seen your mother or your father's relationship, and maybe you feel like, oh, hell no, I don't want things to be turbulent. I don't want to create, you know, attract nobody like my father because he wasn't shit. But it's not, it's not allowing ain't shit people to stay in your life. It's about accepting the fact they ain't shit, but allowing, like, or accepting the fact they ain't shit and accepting the fact that I don't have to allow you in my life. I can acknowledge the fact you ain't shit. But I don't have to allow you in my life because this is causing some type of mental conflict for me. I don't know which way to go. But I know one damn thing. I choose passion. And I choose unconditional love. Because I've worked my ass off and I deserve it. You do, my baby. You got to come to terms with that. Because love is upon you. What you going to do? Right? So that's deck two. Y'all, again, if someone could be kind and please, pretty please timestamp at least the time that the decks are uh, are open. Over. Okay. We chose deck three. Let's rock. Okay, for deck three, I got citrine. Unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solution. Have you been worrying, dear one? This card comes to you as a sign of needless worry, which God and your guardian angels are helping you to release. Chronic worry can be draining and debilitating to physical, mental, and emotional health. Create and attract self-fulfilling prophecies. <clears throat> Distract you from your priorities. Cause you to second-guess your qualifications to fulfill your life purpose. That's why God and your guardian angels are lifting those burdens from your mind, heart, and body. They first remind you that all worry is centered in the thoughts about the future. With your attention fixed on what's ahead, it's difficult to focus on the present moment. 
You're guided to notice this present moment, such as how your body feels right now. For example, notice how you feel. Wiggle your toes. Then notice your muscles and breathe to release tension. Notice, sorry, notice your heartbeat and breath rate and hold the intention for them to relax. Notice your thoughts and notice your feelings. By focusing upon what is going on in the present, your mind shifts away from future worries. It's also helpful to reframe statements expressing your worries using the words, God, please help me with blank. So, for instance, instead of, I'm worried about my health, say, God, please help me with my health. Worry never helps anything, but prayer always helps everything. So, pretty much, where your faith at, baby? If you're going to pray, don't worry. And if you're going to worry, don't pray. The two can the, the two can coincide with one another because it's a contradiction it's a contradicting vibration. Some of you all, huh? Your thoughts. Watch your thoughts. You can see before you beautiful things are happening for you, but you can't see them because you're so busy with them damn past, but with these dark thoughts in your damn head. See the light that is before your eyes, baby, and let it go. Let that hurt go. For some of you all. Respect your integrity during this time. I feel like the things in your past have have brought great wisdom, have allowed you to see the fast talkers and allowed you to see. You get what I'm saying? Allow you to know that you're protected amongst fast talkers and finesses and people who are trying to come in with these snake ass intentions. Some of y'all know how to move in a room full of vultures. But you're needing to allow God to do God's job. It's not your job to get people together. It's not your place. To try to control circumstances in your life and how they're going to go because you are not the creator of your, you're the creator of your own destiny by the thoughts, but you have to also respect spiritual law. A lot of things are aligning for you. Some of you all, you're needing to get grounded. You're needing to get your, you're needing to align your chakras during this time with the, with the popping out of this one here and that one. I feel like a lot of you all are needing to ground yourself. A lot of you all need to work on your root chakras as well as the throat chakra and the way that you communicate. And don't feel like you're having to be defensive towards, you know, the things that are coming your way based off where you've been because it's built great wisdom. It's not meant for you to be a damn prisoner to your own thoughts based on your fears. Some of y'all needing to heal. Healing is upon you. It's inevitable. Huh. Healing. For some of you all, you're needing to be receptive to love, to a soulmate relationship. Things are all out of fucking whack and have fell all, 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 all out of your control. Let me say that because things are aligning for you, not against you. For some of you all, it has to do with love. For some of you all, it has to do with internal healing, but being receptive and offering that love to yourself, it's a process. It truly is a process, but you got to be willing to actually make that first move. For some of you all, it's transformation. For some of you all, you're moving away from how you used to do things, who you used to be, who you used to hang with, who you used to chill with, who you used to love on. Because you're seeing the beauty with themselves and what the hell you actually lost with releasing these people. But some of you all, you chose your integrity. So why are you living in the place of trying to get somebody? Because some of y'all trying to get somebody back. You're thinking about it. But it kind of comes and goes. I feel like it's not emotion that stays there. Some of you all have been in your head. You walked away from somebody. And for some for some of you all, here they come. Or they've already come back. Or they're coming back. And intuitively you feel it. But you don't really know how to be receptive to it. Because you're going through this transformation. But you have to go through this transformation. Some of you all in the cycles. And ending the cycle had to do with you choosing to go through that transformation. Okay? And in doing so, you're going to get what it was that you wanted. You're going to get your wish. And for some of you, it's love. True, unconditional love. That's two-sided. That's not one-sided. Well, both of you give equally. But there's an internal conflict. Because you really don't know how to accept it. Because you've been in a place of worry for so long that you're kind of not seeing the exit sign. To walk through that door of happiness and let that shit go. Some of you all could be dealing, you could be in Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag. You could also be a Taurus or a Leo. But I am seeing 
you need to let that hurt go. Let the worry go. Allow God to do God's job. Because things are shifting internally within you. You are transforming. You are not the same. And because of that, people are moving away from you. And some of y'all wanted to control the shit and hold on to it, but it's only going to bring you pain and grief. Because it's going to bring you back to a place where I gave, 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 gave. I've given this. I've given that. I've given that. Even to compromise my integrity. I gave my heart to a son of a bitch. And God still, I'm going to give all of me and it was still taken from me. So you're starting to see the light of the situation, but you're wanting to live in the thoughts of that of that sad place. Let it go, baby. Spirit needs you to see that you need to let it go. You don't have to worry about that anymore. You don't have to worry about if somebody's out to get you in love. You don't have to worry about that because what's coming for you is a soulmate relationship, a loving relationship. But it's after you choose to heal that vibration within the self. You got to make that first move. It's up to you, babe. What you going to do? So I hope and I pray that you guys enjoy your pick a card reading. Okay. If you guys need a personal reading, private reading, please hit me up. I'm available. And I'd love to do your reading. Because I look at it like this. It's thousands and millions of, well, thousands at least, of readers on YouTube. We're awesome readers and you chose me. So I'm humble and I'm thankful for that. Okay. As a collective, what is spirit's advice? Three, five cards here. What messages do we have for the collective? What is the best advice? What is the best advice for the collective? Yeah, for some of you all, it's to move forward. It's to move forward fearlessly. Fearlessly, with no worries, no regrets, no remorse, because you're moving right into... The new cycle of your life with this world card. You're moving into new cycles where you don't have to be live in that place of, you know, fear. It's more so optimism. A lot of you guys are walking right into new beginnings. New passionate beginnings. For some of you all, you've been wanting tradition for so long. You've been wanting marriage for so long. Here it goes. For some of you all, you're definitely dealing with cancer, fire sign, Taurus. But you're needing to conquer that feeling of being left out or lack or not having enough or not being enough or not being accepted in order for you to be accepting, be willing to take that offer. It may not move as fast as you want it to move, baby, but the end result is the Ten of Cups. You got this. For some of you all, you're definitely dealing with Aries as well. This You could also be an Aries, but you got this. You are the magician. All this major outcome, these are major life-changing events. You are the magician. So please be feel free to take that love. Get out of that place of defensiveness. You don't have to live there no more. That ain't even for you for real. Spirit is trying to give you love, success, financial stability, but you're living in a place of lack, fear, doubt, trust issues, abandonment, rejection. Let that hurt go. Love is inevitable. Mother Venus is here. And she got something to say. And actions and the energies of the universe will follow. We are simply puzzle pieces to the, to the divine's beautiful plan. I love y'all, collective. Let me know. Please comment and please share whatever decks it was that you picked. Mm, much love, much light. Many blessings. Namaste.